Hi students, today we are going to discuss about the basics of nanochemistry. First of all, let me introduce to you what is meant by nano. Okay, the prefix nano in this world, uh, nanochemistry means uh, it is billionth, that is 1 into 10 power minus 9 meters. Atoms are very small and the diameter of a single atom can vary from 0.1 to 0.5 nanometer. So it deals with various structures of matter having dimensions of the order of billionth of meter. That is what we call it as a nano. Okay. So uh, here we have so many classifications like uh, nanoparticles, nanorods, nanoclusters, etc. Et so let us go one by one. First of all, actually, in general, the materials can be classified like um, molecules, bulk materials and nanoparticles. So today we are going to compare what are bulk materials, molecules and nanoparticles. Okay. The nanoparticles are particles the size of which ranges from 1 to 50 nanometer and they are obtained as colloids in general. And these colloids they have the tendency to remain as single crystal and hence they are called as nanocrystals. Uh, large percentage of atoms in nanocrystals they are present on the surface of the nanocrystals and possesses electronic, magnetic and optical properties. Since they exhibit an electronic behavior gone by uh, quantum physics they could also be called as quantum dots and uh, we have the second one as nanomaterials these nanomaterials are having components with size less than 100 nanometer at least one dimension here we have one dimension two dimension and three dimension most probably one dimension are layers such as thin films or surface coatings and two dimensions are tubes such as nanotubes and nanowires and three dimensions we have um, precipitates, colloids and quantum dots. And what is nanochemistry? As I told you, like uh, they range in 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So, nanoscience is defined as a study of phenomena and manipulation of materials at atomic, molecular and macromolecular scales. And technology, nanotechnology, it is defined as the design, characterization, production and how we can apply applications of structures, systems and devices by controlling size and shape. Definitely it must be in the range of 10 power minus 9 meter scale or the thin atomic, single atomic level. Now let us see how we can distinguish nanoparticles, molecules and bulk materials. Okay, this is bulk material. The size of the nanoparticles are less than 100 nanometer in diameter whereas molecules will range in picometers but bulk materials will be uh, larger most probably in micron size. That is 10 power minus 6 meter and molecule is a collection of atoms nanoparticles are collection of few molecules uh, that is less than 100 nanometer but bulk materials contain thousands of molecules and the surface area of nanoparticle is more than that of the bulk materials the strength of nanomaterial as the size decreases the strength will increase we'll be discussing in anyhow about this in the next lecture so the structure of uh, the strength of nanomaterials is 3 to 10 times higher than the uh, bulk materials and the normal particles so the nanoparticles possesses size dependent properties but bulk materials they possesses constant physical properties Corrosion resistance is more in the case of bulk materials, hence localized corrosion in nanomaterials is stopped. So, we can reduce the material size so that the corrosion can be stopped. And the behavior of bulk materials can be changed but cannot enter inside the nanoparticles. And the nanoparticles due to its size possesses unexpected optical properties. All improved properties we have for nanoparticles which we will be discussing in, uh, in our next lecture. Uh, say for example, we all know like gold... Uh, it colors, I mean the color of the gold is yellow, but if it is made in nano size, it appears red in color, deep red to black color. 
okay already this was used in ancient days you know uh, gold uh, nanoparticles then comes zinc oxide nanoparticles it possesses superior uv blocking uh, property so that compared it, when it is compared to bulk material so that it could be used wherever we wish to stop the uh, what to say uh, uv uv rays and next one is absorption of solar radiation in photovoltaic cell containing nanoparticles are higher than the bulk materials Nanoparticles possesses lower melting point than the bulk materials. For example, gold, uh, its melting temperature is 1064 degrees Celsius. Whereas if it is made in uh, uh, nano size, like 2.5 nanometer size, it is it has a melting point of 300 degrees Celsius. So the melting point is decreased if it is converted into nano size. And sintering of nanoparticles takes place at lower temperature and in short time than the bulk materials. Electrical properties, resistivities of nanomaterials increases by three times. The suspension of nanoparticles is possible because nanoparticles possesses high surface area, but bulk materials it cannot possess surface area. The wear resistance of nanoparticles are 170 times higher than the bulk materials. So, uh, most of the nanoparticles they have, uh, they are very much advantageous, and that is what we are going to learn in this unit. So, here you could see some of the properties like. Um, size of the constituting particles we are comparing molecules nanoparticles and the bulk materials uh, size of constituting particles here the atoms will range in few armstrong unit whereas nanoparticles angstrom to nanometer like 10 power minus 10 meter to 10 power minus 9 meter whereas bulk materials it will range in micron that is 10 power minus 6 or it will be higher also Number of constituting particles, uh, we have only one atom or many for molecules and two to several thousands we have for nanoparticles and uh, in the bulk material we have infinity. Third is electronic structure, it is confined for atoms and also confined for nanoparticles but it is continuous for bulk materials and moving on to the geometric structure uh, well-defined structure and uh, predictable we have for example sodium chloride and HCl and nanoparticle also we have well-defined structure and predictable n number of sodium chloride okay and bulk material crystal structure will be uh, crystal structure only will decide uh, how the geometric structure is going to be Okay, so for example, gold bar and silver bar. Okay.